What's going on, stackers? So, Tangent Templates is one of the best tools on the market for low content book publishers. But did you know that you could also create interiors within the software? No? Well, stick around and watch all of this video because I'm going to show you how. So, welcome back to Stacking Profits. My name's Paddy, and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow, and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create awesome, low content books with Tangent Templates Interior Designer. Now, what I'm going to do is show you the interior designer, which we can find just here. So we're going to have a little walkthrough of this, show you the features, and then I'm also going to share with you two different ways that you can upload your creations into Canva so you can modify even further. Also, there are timestamps down in the description to help you navigate through this video. So let's crack on. Let's go over all of the features here so you can see how to use this software. So here we are in the Tangent Templates Interior Designer. To get here, you already saw how to do that. It's very simple. You do need a Tangent Templates account. You can get Tangent Templates for a one-time payment of $69, I believe. And if you speak to the creator in their own Facebook group, you can get a $10 discount code. Now, once you're in here, we can go to Tangent or no, we can go right here to Interior Designer and it's going to open this tab. So let me go through the features and then I'm going to share with you how to actually use it. And again, then I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to modify in Canva. Now, right off the bat, we have our current project just here. If you click on here, you can rename just here. So you can name this to the interior that you want or any name that you want. We can play around with the margins just here. Now, in fact, I think I've got ahead of myself. So let's just quickly refresh the page. When you open the interior designer, like so, it's going to come to this. Now, from here, you want to choose your dimensions. This example, we're just going to do an 8.5 times 11, and we're going to choose bleed. We're going to choose under 151 pages. Now, when you click begin, it brings you to the tangent templates interior designer. If we go on current project, again, we can name the title of the book just here. Then we can play around with the margins. So if we unclick the margins, we're not going to get that border around the outside. Now, if we click it, this is the border. So you don't want stuff going in here unless you have bleed on the interior. Because remember, you only have bleed if your images and or lines go directly to the edge of the page. Now, if we play around with this 151 pages to 301, we can see that the margins obviously are going to change because they change with the size of the book. So for this example, I'll just do under 151, then keep it there. Now from here, we can go to saved projects. We can see that I have nothing. So if you're designing stuff here within the interior designer, always remember to press save. No matter what you do, if you've done anything, click save, and then you can go back to it in your saved projects just here. If we click on that, it's going to pull this up. Now, after those two, we have pages. This is where we can add as many pages as we want. If we wanted to do 10, we could do that and click add pages. Then we can actually choose whichever pages that we want. And all of these are customizable, uh, customizable as you're going to see in a second. So you can actually use a blank page like this and then use all of the features just here to actually create a page. Or again, we can use the templates. If we clicked on the templates, all these are customizable, like I just said. But now from here, if we wanted to completely create our own design, we can start with text. If we click on text, we're going to get that just here. If we go like this, we can move that about. We can also center that just here, and we can play with the fonts. They have lots of different free fonts just here, and we can play with the color. 
If I chose white, we're obviously not going to see the text because that's white on white. So let's go back to black, keep that like so. We can actually play around with boldness, italic, or bold italic as well, as we can see just there. And we can also play with the size of the text. Now, if we keep scrolling down, we can see where we can move it on the canvas just here. We could do left, we could do right, we could do center. I want center, so let's do that. And now it's centered. We can also play around with the position just here. We can duplicate and they also have page numbers. So most low content books don't really have page numbers, so you don't really need to use this, but you can also add dates. So you can add lots of different age, no, date ranges just here from the dates as well. And this is handy if you want to go ahead and make a planner. So that's what you get with the text, with the lines. We can play around as well. If we look like, or look at this, we can see the width of this line. Now, if we click back on here, we can play with the thickness. We can play with the color as well. Let's do that to that color, make that a little bit thinner. We can also do dotted lines like so. We could move that over. You could do center the back, center the front. You can center and all the positions as well again, as you can see. So let's go ahead and delete that now. That was the lines. We can do some pretty cool stuff with the boxes. Now, if we click on box, it's going to pull one up. We can play around with this, make it bigger, make it longer. We can play around with the border color as well. And we can play around with the color inside the box. So I might want to do this to black. We can keep that like so. Let's put that back to this. We can go with dotted lines or a rounded corner. So if we click off there, we can now see that that's rounded. We don't want that, so let's go this. We can now play around with the center back or center front. Again, that's only vital if you've got multiple different layers on top of each other. Now, if we scroll down to here, this is what I like. We can actually create tables. So we could do a four by three or a four by four. And now if we click insert table, we now have a table. If we click over it like that, we can move it around and move it up to the top. This is going to be perfect if you want to create calendars, planners, things like this. Let's just get rid of that, but that's a pretty cool feature as well. Let's go back onto boxes. Let's go down to here because this is what I like. So if we make this box like so, we could do that like this. We could have that at the bottom and then we could actually add these different types of lines. We could do college ruled, wide ruled, graph paper or two different types of graph paper and dot grids. Now, no matter what the size of the box is that you've made like this, then if we click one of these, it's going to add lines just into that box, which I think is pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and take this. We can take these lines. We can even make them smaller like so. Now we're going to play around with this in a second. I just wanted to show you all of the features first. Let's delete this. Then they have circles pretty much the same thing where you can play around with the fill color, the border, the thickness, dotted lines and similar stuff. Then they also have images. Now these images, let's go back on there. These are all specifically just for tangent templates. These are actually SVGs, I believe, but all of these graphics that they have here, you won't find anywhere else because they had them specifically made just here for the tangent templates interior designer. And if we look, they have lots of great graphics. If we scroll up, we can click on these. We can have a look at the bees. They have all these different types of bee stuff. And if we put that there, we can play around again with the color. So I could put that black. I could put that a little bit lighter. We could rearrange it to the back or the front. We can mirror as well, which means that's going to flip as we can see. And again, they have the positions just so or just there. Now, if we click off there, go back to images, they also have borders. So this is pretty cool. Look at all these little borders that you can do or you can use. They have literally so many different types which we can use within our book. Now, if we click off there, let's go back to this. Let's go on those borders again. Let's click on one of these so you can see. Let's take this. Let's make that a little bit bigger. We could possibly have that like so. Now, I could copy and paste this. So I'm going to going to do command Z and then command V just to copy and paste. Then I'm going to bring down to the bottom. Then we could use a box like this. Then I could make this bigger. 
I could probably make that a little bit thinner and then have that to there and then if we go down to college ruled we could do something like this now there's lots of other cool stuff that you can do you can take them you could move that in you could have a little graphic there you could move this over there's just lots of cool stuff that you can do now let's take this one away let's take this half of this like so let's go back to those borders no let's go to the images because if we scroll down look they also have calendars so right here if we click on them then if we click on one of these we could possibly take this one let's make that a little bit bigger let's move that over in fact let's just take this we could move this up and we could have a calendar in our book as well and if we go back to the calendars they have lots of different types now we could completely not use this at all but remember if you are designing in here always save and then once you've saved you can go to your saved projects just here and it's going to show just here if we click click on there there we go now we may not want this so i might want to add a new page i may want to use this now if we click on there if we go back we can play around with this now i did too many pages i didn't actually want that many so let's just delete a few of these really quick there we go let's just do one more go on to here but now we can play around with this i might not want that so we can go over it we can take that away i can go over this i can copy and paste again i can bring that down again just everything is customizable and it's pretty cool so all of these pages just here if we scroll down are all completely customizable we might want to change it out for this one so let's do that one let's get rid of that I've done too many pages again so let me just delete this there we go we're almost there just just do two more there we are and let's just get this one as well now let's change this back to one now i'm going to go to add pages because you might not want to customize any of these you might just want a blank page and then do your own research into lots of different layouts now the best way to do this or find layouts where you can get inspiration from is actually one of the best places is canva so if you come into canva and you go to the search bar and you type in planner it's going to pull up all the planner templates that you can use and you can get inspiration from these planners to create your own in the tangent templates interior designer so you might want to get a little bit of inspiration from this one so you could create something like that so you'd need a box we can do this box a little bit wider like that we can move this up we could have that as black we could do some text we could make sure that's centered we want that a little bit bigger we want it white because then we can move that on to here now let's change this to something like daily planner we could also change the font so if we find one down here we could use something like that we could make that a little bit bigger so let's move that up like so and then we could actually have our calendars so we could go to box and we could create it this way or we can go back to images and find those calendars just here and then we could take one of these we could make this bigger move that to there in fact we could take this let's just move that up to there we could have this here we could match this to the same color so it could look like that and then at the bottom there's a square there which i don't want so let's take away this so we could move that to there then we could go back to a box we could take this move this to there make that longer have that like so make that sure that it pops into place and then if we scroll down we could go to wide ruled and then we could have some notes just there that's a little bit close so i'd want to move that down but again there's lots of cool things that you can do now me personally if i were to create interiors in here then i wouldn't use the fonts now why is that well because i'd take that away because i'd actually take this then upload it into canva 
and then start modifying there. Now, why would I do that? Well, because I personally have a lot more fonts that I could use within my interior. So I might want to go ahead and create that all in here with no words or fonts within the interior and then do that in Canva. So let me go ahead and show you a couple of different ways that you can import your designs into Canva so you can further modify over there. Now when it comes to downloading your designs here within the interior designer of course you want to save first because remember when you save your projects go to save projects and you can find them here if you do not save and for some reason the page gets refreshed it's gone so always remember let's go back to begin always remember to save so that you have your saved projects now if we click on here there's two different ways that you can download this first way being the PDF. So if we click on there, we now have the PDF. And if we go back over here to Canva, let's go to the first page and let's take this, this PDF, and just drop it directly into Canva. There we go. Now this should load up and now I should have that interior here within Canva. So if we scroll down, I am going to have to blur some of this out. There it is. Now if we click on that design, I now have this design imported from Interior Designer over here in Tangent Templates, but I now have that here within Canva. Now within Canva, I can actually now go ahead and play around with all these as well. As you can see, all the elements are customizable so that's one way you can go about it the second way which you can actually go about it as well is if we go back over to here we can download as png so let's do that for a second let's go back over to here to canva so now what i would do is take the png file and just drop it here within the folders now i'm going to have to blur some of this stuff out but now we have that as a PNG image. So let's just duplicate this. We now have a blank page. We can now just click on that image. And now I have that as an image here within Canva. Now the pros and cons, there's a few different types of doing it each way. The first way, if you just download the PDF. So if you just click download, then upload that here within Canva on the first page, we can play around with each individual elements, which again allows you to customize even more. But if you just use the PNG and upload that into Canva, we can see, so let's actually do that one more time because that's locked, we can see it's just one image, so it's a lot harder to customize. So again, what you want to do is download the PDF and then upload that directly into Canva on the first page. Then again, everything becomes customizable. Now, also, like I previously said, if I'm creating stuff here within the Tangent Templates Interior Designer, I don't really want to use fonts or words or anything like that because I'm going to take this, I'm going to upload it into Canva, and then here, I'm going to customize more. Now, within here, if I go to my text, I can click on text like so. I can make that a little bit smaller. I can go to white. I can put that on top just there, but now I have a lot more wiggle room, yep, wiggle room, with the fonts that I can use, because in Tangent Templates Interior Designer, the fonts, if we go to fonts, are limited. There's only so many that you can use. I mean, there's still an awful lot, but me personally, I pay for my own fonts using Creative Fabrica. I upload them here into Canva, so I can use them in my designs. So now if I go here, I have a lot more fonts that I can play around with. So again, that's why I'd keep everything blank and then do the rest here within Canva. Now, if we go back over the Tangent Templates Interior Designer, let's just move this out of the way. You can go ahead and create all of your pages in here. Let's go to Pages. We can just keep creating and creating the book how we want, or we can download as one PDF. Now, as you can see, the Tangent Templates Interior Designer is pretty cool, and you can create some really nice interiors, but I still personally prefer 
Canva. Anything you can do here within the Tangent Templates Interior Designer, you can also do in Canva. So I'd just prefer to make everything in Canva because I'm not limited to what I can create. Whereas if I use the Tangent Templates Interior Designer, I am limited. But the Interior Designer is still pretty cool because you're not just paying for the Interior Designer. With Tangent Templates, it's so much more. You get the Tangent Interiors, you get the Interior Designer, you get the Tangent Builder, which I'm going to brush up on in just a sec, the KDP Helper, the Listing Helper, the Category Explorer, and all of these templates. So the Tangent Templates Interior Designer is not a standalone product. So if you have Tangent Templates, maybe not Canva, then it's going to be perfect for you. But if you already have Canva, then you don't really need to use the Tangent Templates Interior Designer. Again, because within Canva, you're not limited to what you can do. Now, let me just brush up on, if we go back to here, the Tangent Builder. So I have that open just here. This is just a quick way to put books together. So you can actually create your pages in here, lots of different pages, download as PDF. You can kind of create the book in here as well. But once you have a PDF, a page that you want, and you want that multiple times throughout the book, you can use the Tangent Templates Tangent Builder. You can upload a PDF just here. So if we go to Upload PDF, we can go, let's click on one of these. Was it that one? Yeah, let's just click on this, and now it's going to open the PDF in here. So let's just do that one more time. There we go. It's added it there. We can now add the page, and it's added it there. If I wanted to upload another one, we could go to Upload. Let's take this one. Let's open that. Let's choose it. So if we scroll down, we can choose it, and then create. Oh, let's do that one more time. Let's scroll down. Let's click on there. There we go, we have that page just here. We might want to duplicate that so we can have that here. And there's just lots of cool stuff that you can do with this, but all this essentially is, is a PDF merger, which is actually great to have because within Canva, there's only a 100 page limit. So you might create some pages in here, go back to the Tangent Templates Builder just here, and then you can build your interior just here. Now we can do it with a 100 page book. We could just use the interiors which Tangent Templates have. If we do that, we now have a 100 page book. But again, that's all essential, or that's all that essentially Tangent Builder is, and that is a PDF merger. So any PDFs that you create within the Interior Designer, on Canva, or even any that you get from Creative Fabrica. You can build them together and have different pages with different PDFs and just merge them together here within the builder. So that's the builder and that's everything that I wanted to cover. That's the Tangent Templates Interior Designer. As you can see, it's pretty good, but if you have Canva, then there's really no need to use the Interior Builder. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon. Whoops.